let's go and find the domain of this f of x, all right? So again, guys, the main thing is when we're taking the square root of you know, an expression or of anything, right? You guys can see there's a lot that's going on in this problem. It looks fairly confusing you know, just, when, just by looking at the problem on the onset. But again, if we can just go back to what we understand is that you cannot take the square root or really any even root, fourth root, sixth root, of a negative number. So all we need to do is just extract our radicand, the expression under the radical, and just determine which of these values are going to be greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to 0 is just a mathematical way of saying something has to be, or greater than 0 is just a mathematical way of saying something has to be positive, right? And that's all we want. We just want that to be positive. We know it can't be negative. So now we just have an inequality that we can solve. So we can subtract a 5. 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5 divided by 2 divided by 2. x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. Now we just need to graph that. Now you might be like, oh, I'm confused. Where is negative 5 halves? Well, again, guys, I'm not trying to, we don't need you guys to be perfect on your graphing. Let's just say negative 5 halves is right here. <laughs> right? But it's greater than or equal to, so you guys know that's going to be an open circle. And all numbers that are greater than negative 5 halves are going to go to the right. Right? So for at least this beginning of this lesson, what I'd like you guys to do is just get practice not only solving here and graphing, and then we can write the domain from this graph. Obviously, after you guys get some practice, you're not going to have to do all of those steps. Okay? But the one thing I want you guys to be aware of on this is, did this negative 1 third have anything to do with the domain? Did it impact the domain? No. Did the negative 4 impact the domain at all? No. So could I put some really crazy stuff on the outside of that square root to try to confuse you? Right? And you could just like look past it and just zero in on the radicand. Right? Because that's what's going to impact the domain. That's it. Got it? OK. Those are your problems for you guys to go ahead and try. Uh, once you guys go ahead and figure out the domain, uh, you're going to go ahead and